YouTube, uh, I was just a car addict. Um, oh, I haven't uh, been on camera for probably a couple weeks. Uh, I took a week off of work and went to Maine, stayed on a lake, and my parents came up from uh, Arizona, sister and her family from California, some people came up from Connecticut. We had a miniature family reunion there. Um, it was pretty cool. I got my daughter uh, barely turned four years old. We have a pool. It's like uh, 15 feet across, 52 inches deep or something like that. And uh, yes, the terribly un, uh, irresponsible father, because apparently I drive like a dick with my daughter in the car or something and I put her in danger. But uh, I do put her in a life jacket and uh, she just kind of climbs down the ladder in the pool, floats around, kind of swims, but she's never jumped in. I haven't thrown her in the pool or I haven't thrown her in the pool and I haven't thrown her in the pool. Um, but we're at this lake and the dock is about a foot and a half above the water and it only took me two times holding her hand to get her to jump in when I'm holding her hand. And then after that, goes to the end of the dock and it was kind of funny there's a piling right at the end you can like hold it and hang around the and be technically on the side of the dock but really you're at the end she'd always run to the end stop like and kind of go around it and jump up the side and I kept trying to get her just jump off the end it's the same and after uh you know that was after a few times finally she just did it. That kid's got some guts. Just busts the ass down the dock as fast as she can. Gets to the end and then boom, just launches off. I got some slow motion videos. And she's like still running in midair and then splashes in the water. Swims back, does it again, over and over and over. And then always wants me to run behind her, and jump after. Her. <laughs> Anyways, had a 07 Sonata while I was there from uh, Hertz, and I kind of wish I was by myself traveling because I've never rented from Hertz. And you get out in the rental area, and they're just like, go to zone one, pick a car, and you get there, and there's an Optima, a Malibu, a Sonata. Uh, Ultima, there's like all these cars, and you're like, ooh, I get to pick whatever I want. And then you look over and you got your wife and your two daughters that have been traveling all damn day with you, and they're not wanting to wait while you Google 0 to 60 and stuff on all these cars and find out what has the best features, what's the fastest. I kind of now wish I would have taken the newer Malibu. Uh, and this is not from Googling anything, I still have no idea. And what's baffling is somebody actually came down and took the old Malibu that was right next to the new Malibu. And I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, so, 2.4 non-turbo, uh, conventional automatic. Holy crap, that thing just felt pretty gutless. Like, put it in sport mode, hit it in manual, put it in first, and uh, go. And it feels like it's kind of quick. Hit it second, it's like, there's just no power up top. Shifts are kind of slow. Didn't want to keep pulling after it shifts, but it is a rental car that's who knows how it's maintained. I did check, the oil was full, wasn't that dirty looking. Air cleaner was kind of pretty freaking bad. I actually took it out, knocked it on the ground, and got quite a bit of shit out. But, um, and I actually took a picture of it so I could just show you real quick what it looked like because nobody really cares, but I still took the picture. I take pictures of a lot of weird stuff. Um, anyways, so it really made me 
are sticky tires. The tires grab. The car is not really going as fast as it could be with that amount of power or whatever. So the motor rocks under acceleration. Gets to the limit and then the tire breaks loose and the and motor rocks back. The tire grabs again. The whole thing happens again. And I'm assuming a stickier tire would make the motor rock further before it overcame the traction of the tire. So maybe that makes wheel hop more violent. If I'm wrong, I don't really care for you to uh, <laughs> correct me. I can look it up myself and figure out what the hell's going on if I really care that much about why a stickier tire would make wheel hop worse in this case. And speaking of criticism, I want to give a special thanks to my number one fan. Uh, I'm going to say his last name wrong, probably Lawrence Schnaufer. Schaufner. Schnaufer. Now I even forget where the hell the N was in the name, but that dude. Um, and on that topic also, anybody that has this Civic, 10th generation Civic, with the CVT still comment, especially I'm looking for those with the six speed, do you notice your rev hang? Because he's still telling me his 10th generation Civic does not have rev hang. And I could partly see why maybe with the CVT, they don't program it in, or at least as heavily because you're, ne you're never really like, okay, I'm cruising, and then just RPMs fall. With the CVT, you let off, it's pretty much gonna keep the engine spinning, which my transmission does also, but I can push the clutch, and you guys can't. So, that still doesn't really keep the throttle plate open, though, or maybe keeping the engine spinning keeps the throttle plate opening just by the way the computer does it. I don't know. Just comment, please, if you have rev hang, if you don't, and what transmission you have, because if a data log doesn't prove it, I don't really know how else to prove it, I guess, and let it just with more people saying, yes, it exists. Um, at least it's not some dude that doesn't even have a Civic saying, oh, you're just wrong. It doesn't have rev hang. You drive it wrong, which he does say that part, <laughs> but... Uh, I just don't see how you can have one of these cars and then say they don't have rev hang. Um, so, the clutch should be going in next weekend. Um, I am not going to film it, but I'll probably take the GoPro and if there's somewhere, some step that I think is tricky or a tip, I might record that kind of thing and put a short video. But if you don't already have the mechanical aptitude, I guess you would say, to try and tackle it, I don't really know if you'd want to watch a YouTube video on how to replace a clutch, especially in something like this that apparently is more, I don't know if I'd say advanced or difficult, but there's more steps to it, apparently, um, to getting access to the flywheel. So you're the kind of person that would just jump in and tackle it. And for those kind of people, what I say would probably help. If you're the kind of person that wants a step-by-step -step video of how to do it, I'm not going to do that because it's already supposedly going to take me a long time and I don't want to make it take a long, long time. Plus, I'm going to a friend of mine's shop and I got to go after close of business, work overnight, and be out by the time they need the lifts and the tools and everything. So... I'll have to get it done. Um, I'm looking at my camera that says I've been talking for precisely too damn long. So I'm going to stop right here. Um, just say thanks everybody for watching my videos and the people that have subscribed. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, I'll be working weekends for a while aside from when I take the one day to get this clutch done because I did not have vacation time for the whole vacation. So I need to play catch up after that, start taking weekends off again, stripping that Integra. I got all that crap like, uh, look at me, I'm still talking after I said I'd shut up. The urethane for the torque mount, I got the plastic dip for the grill and the uh, badges. I got the freaking red enamel for the calipers. Um, I got stuff to do, I just haven't had the time to do it. Um, hopefully I'll get on it so I can put more videos up. Alright, here's the outro from Car Addict Jr., my little dock jumper. 
and I will talk to you guys later. All right, thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTube. Deuces. Oh yeah, real quick. I said I was gonna show you this, and I didn't. Okay, why can't I get in the box? Probably because I'm going from the wrong end. So you're all excited, like, oh yeah, I got my clutch, and then you can still kind of smell the paint. Let's see if it comes through. I'll put these lights on. Okay. I don't think a GoPro focuses that good on something that close, but if you can see, there's just wrinkles everywhere on the pressure plate. And then here is what a flawless side of a clutch disc looks like. And then here, we're coming around to it, right there. I mean, it ain't a big deal. So really minor. Again, just irritating that it happened on a brand new clutch before I even got it in my hands. All right. So this is really goodbye.